hey guys so welcome back to the vlog today well i don't know about today i don't i don't even know what this vlog entails but um right now i have to run some errands i gotta go to best buy i have to go to the car wash this car like i told y'all in the last vlog or vlog before i don't know one of the vlogs girl this car is dirty like you know when like you step in grass and then you bring the grass into the car is given that and this car does not deserve that you guys okay so i haven't really updated you guys much much about this car i love this car so much i feel like once you go up like once you go not a sedan you can't go back down because i just love her so much at first i was kind of nervous to drive her i don't know why i'm shaking at first i was kind of nervous to drive her but she's literally like perfection like i cannot go lower like what why was i ever driving a four-door sedan like it's crazy so yeah we got to go to the car wash we got to go to best buy um and i kind of want to go to target but i don't know target make me spend money child big big money like more money than walmart um i'm probably gonna end up at target because i know me um i do want to see like if they got any new clothes i try on clothes etc whatever um but yeah that's what we're doing for now first we have to go to best buy and then leaving best buy i'll probably find a misters or i might just go there first and then come back i don't know girl y'all see how dirty my car is y'all see the little black spot i don't know if y'all can see on the camera but yeah we're not having that okay this is mm -mm. and i'm talking about some i can't park i think i did pretty well which i think i don't know all right let's go inside they're gonna think i'm talking to myself child Where's the external hard drives? External hard drives, they're gonna be right over to the left of the east squad here. Oh, okay. Alright, y'all. I need to get me an SD card because mine is cooked. This is $200. Damn, this is four terabytes though. But this ain't practical because I'd like to use my uh, MacBook too, so. <laughs> Good God. This is the one I use now, in case y'all are wondering. It's a two terabyte from WD and it's $69. But I kind of think I'm gonna go bigger. This one has five terabytes. They ain't got no cute color ones. No. Oh, this looks good. Damn, 14 terabytes is crazy. All right, y'all, so this is the one that I got. I got the Crucial, what? Two terabyte portable SSD, and this is the Pro. It says that it reads and writes up to 2,100 megabytes per second. So we're gonna see, y'all. We're gonna see. If I don't like it, I'm returning it because this was $180. And my last one was like 64, but um, those usually, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The SanDisk ones that I use, they usually last about a year. And then they go bad so mine as i'm editing it's saying that it's going bad like it cannot even like open some of the files and i'm be honest y'all i cannot afford to lose the content that i have on that sd drive that i'm currently editing because when i edit i edit through final cut pro through my external hard drive so if my external hard drive just goes out on me girl that's literally all the content um sponsored and all like it's Nah, but I, I just cannot afford that right now. So I got this $180. So let's see if it works good. If it works good, then I'll keep it. If not, that shit's coming back by the end of the week. So yeah. Next up is the car wash. you guys the car is washed smells good i actually put one of those little what is it called these things i put the i put one of those out um the fucking bath and body works these they go out fast whatever these are called 
I don't smell them. Like the first couple days I smelled them, they were really good. But girl, I can't smell them no more. So, I mean, it's been like months. So maybe I need a new one. But like, how do you know when you need a new one? It still got juice in it. You know what I'm I don't know, girl. This shit don't last. But, yeah. All right, next stop is Target. And then Mace wants some Chick-fil-A. So let's do that. Uh, my sister. Now, everyone in my family just keep blowing up my phone for Kyrie. They miss him. They like, oh, my God, we miss him. Right now, make sure that's a little space. That's where we at. So another thing. So today I'm going to be going with... Um, I'm gonna be taking the twins out to dinner because I owe them their birthday gift and I'm months late, you guys. Like, I'm really late. I've never been this late on anyone's birthday gift before, but, um, y'all know I was like out of town. Like, I ain't got no excuse, bitch. I'm late on a gift. I'm late on everybody motherfucking gift. All my friends' gifts. I just be late, girl. Sorry. Um, better late than never. Shit. So, today we're gonna go to Cheddar's. They said for dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna give them their gift. It's like really hard because my, let me tell y'all, my love language is, is, gift giving and my love language is receiving and giving gifts i love to give gifts my issue is i will go broke giving gifts and that's not a good thing that's actually hard but like i will go broke like like if i only got a thousand dollars to my name and it's may's birthday i'm spending that whole thousand dollars like if i don't know if that makes sense but not literally like i'm not gonna make have 0.0, .0 but like i will i need to stop so i just for my birthday they got me um the Billie Eilish perfume and then the Moschino perfume and some beautiful flowers. Hopefully what I got them is good. It's just kind of hard because you're shopping for two people because they're twins. So it's kind of like harder, like you're spending more money if that makes sense. So I got them Stanley cups. I got them like a Juicy Couture night set. I got them some Kylie skin and then I got them like some products and I really hope that's enough. I don't know. But yeah, so right now, oh, I'm hungry as hell, and I really want to go to Chick-fil-A right now, but I, I be feeling so bad eating without Mace. Like, I don't think I can eat without him. I don't know if that makes any sense. So what I am going to do, though, is I am going to go to Starbucks. Star, I said Starburst. That's how you know I'm hungry. I am going to go to Starbucks and Target and get me some stuff and just walk around, and then I'll go to Chick-fil-A, and then we can get the fuck out of here and go home. Oh, I'm lying. I got to go to the bank. Where's Navy Federal at? So y'all, let me tell y'all. Oh, oh, don't hit the car. So I have officially become an adult because usually when I check the mail and there's letters and stuff from the mortgage company, etc., I always think that it's a paper version of my bill. So like if I get if I get a paper and it says the mortgage company's name, I'll be like, oh, that's just the paper version of my bill. Girl, something told me to check the mail and open the shit. Because remember, I told you my mortgage thing doubled because of the property taxes. But I think now everything's adjusting. So because I know it's going to adjust soon, that's why I went and checked my mail. Like I opened the pack, opened the thing. Girls, a whole check in there. I guess when you overpay in property taxes, ma'am, relax. I guess when you overpay in property taxes, um, let me go this way because y'all be, y'all, y'all take a little long. Sorry, y'all. When you overpay in property taxes, they give you the remainder. Like if I overpaid, like if I if I had five thousand dollars in escrow and taxes was four thousand, I would get the remaining a thousand. So I got a check, and then it's like I had got another check from another thing, and I'm like, you really gotta check your mail. Like it be money in the mail. It literally be money in the mail. Since I came back from New York, this is the second check. Hurry up, little bird. This is the second check um that I got, and I'm just like, wow, like is this like this is adulting? I need to literally check my mail, even if it's a paper bill. I still have to check it, like being an adult jasmine so yeah i do i was looking at nursery rugs for Kyrie. i seen a cute one but it's 92 dollars. now bitch why that that little boy don't need no rug for 92 dollars. it's so cute it goes with the theme i'm trying to go with like a jung jungle theme but i think i'm thinking of it too much one thing he does need in that room ma'am one thing he does need in that room is um a lamp so i'm gonna see if i see a lamp at target like a cheap little a cheap ass lamp i was gonna check a uh, walmart but i'm ready at going to target so i'm gonna get that from target and then um yeah i think that's it yeah 
definitely got to get a lamp, but I'm so hungry, y'all. It's 2.37. We have not ate shit today. We go to sleep late, so our day is going to start till 11 o'clock, y'all. Literally, like, 11. So, I'm not going to go into Burlington because Burlington, that Burlington, I know I was talking real good about it. Girl, that shit is so garbage. Like, that Burlington, the Burlington or Harbor Heights, if you're in my area, um, the Burlington and Harker Heights, the new one, the first day it was lit, but, like, now it's, like, really bad, like, not my Burlington probably has better shit now, because I guess people started coming here and emptying it out, this one ain't got shit, but, you guys, we're at Target, oh, my God, I cannot believe this has literally became my life, I used to be, like, ill, Target mad expensive, who the fuck ever go to Target, ill, like, y'all are just, like, overhyping it, Target is life, girl, Target is my life, I don't All right, y'all got some pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Let's see. Y'all, so I like this sweater. I actually have the pants because I bought the pants because it was on Florence. And I didn't know I had a matching sweater. So I found out today and I got a large. So what do y'all think? Real cute. Y'all gotta see the, the matching pants. It, it look good. Next, I got these two pants, one in the 12, one in the 10. Let's see which one fits. This is not cute, y'all. It's not flattering at all. Like, the sleeves, like what the fuck is this? This sleeve is mad awkward. The fuck? I got these sweatpants next. They're in a the medium. I don't know, they look kind of big, so. Hey guys so my package came from Eben remember I told you remember I told y'all that Eben New York had a giveaway and I won and my package is here I just want to show y'all real quick before I go back to sleep I'm tired I've been running around all day I also did go and get Kyrie's name tatted but y'all will see that more when it's more healed um yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Eben New York I'm so fucking geeked like I'm so 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 happy like I could cry but yeah I'm gonna show y'all real quick and then I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm really tired. So, yeah. This is what I got. Make sure it's not, make sure it's good right here. Like this. So, this box is what I got from Eben. They had a giveaway and I won. Um, before I enter the giveaway, I actually purchased three of the items. As y'all can see over there. So, I purchased all the items that were available. The entire rest of the line was sold out. So that is why I entered the giveaway because I want the whole line and it was sold out. If it wasn't sold out, I would have bought it and I wouldn't have entered the giveaway. But anywho's y'all, I'm God's favorite, so I won. So let me show y'all real quick what they sent. So they do have a new line. This is their water resistant sports edition. And I do have, because I have those, I did use it for this install. I did use it for this install, so... As y'all can see, it's not budging. And y'all know I had this wig on for four or five days now. So, yeah. Let me show y'all real quick. So, they sent me their Wander Lace Bond Water Resistant Sports Edition Remover. So, this basically removes the glue. They sent me the lace melt that I already have. They sent me the adhesive spray. So, this... And he, let me explain to y'all how I go. So the lace melt is what melts your lace and makes it look like it's growing out of your scalp. If you have a HD lace frontal or closure, you, if you got a bad lace, this is going to melt it, but it's not going to make it look like it's growing out of your hair. This is the adhesive spray. This is what adheres the lace to your head. Okay, so it's kind of like a glue in a sense, but in the spray version. This is their lace melt mousse. You can use this as well to adhere um, the wig to your head. You can use it for your baby hair. It's literally to melt your um, your wig and make it look melted. This is the lace melt spray. Oh my god! When I tell y'all, 
I'm obsessed with this fucking spray. I have it in... I'll show you guys when I go over there. But this is the lace melt spray. This is what you I'll usually put after I put the glue. Before you put the band on, you want to put this all over the hairline. Then they sent me their skin protector before you put the glue to protect your hairline. And then this is what I'm most excited for, y'all. The glue. This is the glue, y'all. The lace wig adhesive in their new water resistant sports edition so basically you can be in like a humid area like texas you could be sweating at the gym whatever it is and girl they claim that your wig not gonna budge so i'm really excited to try this line i think i'm actually gonna go ahead and do a um an instagram reel on this of course not sponsored but like i still want to do it so yeah that's what they sent me even if you're watching this which you probably ain't girl Thank you so much. This literally made my entire motherfucking day. And as y'all can see, I have a lot of Eben products because, like, I just love Eben. Like, this is all Eben. This is what I purchased. What I purchased. This is the Lace Melt Spray. This one right here? Oh, my God. All right, y'all. Good morning. Guess what I did today? I did me a little workout. Um, my plan was initially to get on the treadmill, but the treadmill needed an update, so I didn't get on it. I instead took, um, Luna for a long walk, and now I'm back. Haven't really... Uh, I'm in Kyrie's nursery. Um, I just opened the Frida humidifier, so I got that going. Let me show y'all real quick. Y'all see? Yes, clean, fresh air for my baby. Um, right now I'm just chilling. Y'all know, um, we finally finished the dresser, so I'm gonna organize some of his stuff, and I'm just drinking one of these. I don't know why y'all ain't telling me about these. These are actually really good. They're called Celsius. I almost said cellulose. <laughs> it's called, uh, Celsius, and I got it in sparkling orange, and it's actually pretty good. I woke up this morning not in a good mood, so, Yeah. But I'm just going to finish organizing his clothes. As far as onesies, let me put y'all up more. As far as onesies, y'all, first of all, I got to get that light changed. I can't find nobody that does lights. I found this one dude. This I don't know if I told you about the guy. Remember when I bought those Ikea bookshelves? He was, um, I wanted to know how much he charged. Because y'all know at the time I was like, what, seven, eight? No. I think I was like eight months pregnant at the time. No, nine. No, I don't know. But I was like third trimester pregnant. And I didn't want to put the bookshelves up myself. So I asked him and he told me $250 to put up five. I think five. One, two, three. I don't know. I think it was like four. No, I, no, no, no. He told me $60 each bookshelf or $250 for all of them. Some shit like that. I'm like, the book, these bookshelves? So I did them myself. Because I was like, okay, he charging a little bit too much. Because I'm not going to front your Ikea furniture. There's usually a video that, online that you can follow. But it's not hard. I did it. Like, fully pregnant and all. So, <sighs> he charges, I think, $250 for lights. I'm just like, yo, this man is expensive. And usually, you know, we go with like a certain ethnicity thinking it would be cheaper. No, girl. The cheap days is over. So, I'm just folding his onesies. As far as light, I think I'm going to end up um buying like a little lamp like i told y'all but yeah some of these clothes are three to six and six to nine not six to nine yeah three to six yeah but i don't know sometimes i just want him in like big clothes so he can stretch and then sometimes i'm like all right let me put him in three months so the, this drawer is just for onesies hats and socks that's what i'm doing so far I'm going to do as much as I can, and I'll show y'all. I'll do, like, some B-roll or something. But, yeah. Um, I ended up giving those clothes away that I told y'all to that young lady, and I still have some newborn clothes that I sorted through, and I forgot to add to what I was going to give her, so. His little Nike hat. Mm -hmm. So, I got his little hats right here. I don't know if I showed y'all, but like his um, changing table actually came with a hamper. Let me show y'all real quick. Move the light. Y'all see? 
Child, I done broke <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking crazy. I done broke this shit. <sighs> it's not broke, y'all. It's just not put together. But it's not broke much. good enough so everything in this bin right here is like stuff he can't fit right now what is this i don't know child this is all stuff he can't fit right now this is stuff that i need to sort through again and then he just got shit everywhere but as far as the boxes i don't really know what i'm gonna do with them yet excuse me but i do know i want to organize his clothes and I am going to go on um, Amazon to get me some drawer organizers so this can look better. And I don't know, this drawer doesn't open all the way, but like these do, if y'all can see. Yeah, like these do, but child, who knows? So, who the fuck is Kyrie Jr.? Because I'm not his junior. I'm sick. No, don't come and stink. It don't, no, don't come. It's okay, baby. No, y'all, okay. I just farted. That shit smell like baby, death. Do not put that in. Yo, you wildin' baby. How? Cause I tell him I just fought it in the stink? Yes, baby. Oh, that's unhinged, bro. That's unhinged? Alright, alright, I won't put it in there. I'll be OD. I'll be OD? OD. Alright, 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 I won't put it in there. Like I said, I just farted, y'all. That shit smell like that. That shit smell like... Y'all, so y'all see we... St Stop! Go get the Chick-fil-A! Fucking always making jokes and shit. Oh, fuck! Look at my chicky, nigga. All right, all right, all right. Back to the vlog. Y'all, look, y'all. We got some cute newborn stuff. Oh, my God. Cute. Oh, my God. He didn't even get to wear them because my shit wasn't properly organized. What's so funny, Mace? I'm not going to Damn, y'all. He keep joking on me. He keeps saying that because I'm going to edit the part out, but he keeps saying that I be telling y'all too much. He said I be oversharing. Y'all think I be oversharing? Yeah. Basically, what happened was I farted. And I told y'all that I had farted. Hey, y'all ain't, ain't, look, y'all ain't got a lot of her. Comment below. Does she be oversharing? Saying that I yes farted? Tell them what happened. Or no. Tell them what happened. I'll edit out the part that would it would happen, but tell them. She farted on camera and was like sharing it with you guys. Like, yeah, yeah, I just farted, y'all. That shit stink. Like, I'm damn, what the hell was going on? Why are you telling them all that? They don't wanna hear that. How you know that? It's they real life. Some people wanna hear the tea. I know these people. But what's the tea then? Tell them. You the know tea. what's going on with Kyrie. What's the tea? You and Maze. What you and Maze? Yeah, because they like on. where you at. Maze. Shit like that. They they, they like where you at. Them people don't wanna hear about. Farts? Am I? They gonna tell you? They, they, your subbies are real. They gonna, they gonna be like, Jazz, we don't wanna hear about this shit. <laughs> Kyrie is chilling. He been cutting up too, y'all. Yeah, he don't like the crib, y'all, but. He put his at, he at that stage where you put him in his crib. <sighs> y'all. <sighs> yeah. Y'all already know the ones who got. Can't even put him down. <laughs> Pick him up. He all good. Put him down. <laughs> Yeah, y'all. Wish me luck for the next couple of days, child. Yeah. Look at these cute, so cute newborn stuff. We put, we set here. up his room. I don't know where you at with your video. Yeah. Yeah. You know I was telling saying? him about the dresser. She gonna act like she did it all, but you know. I never said I did it all. I don't. Know. I said we. Oh, you said we? Yeah, I said we. I ain't do it myself. Yeah. Let me let me show them what's going on. You know what I mean? Let me show them. Okay. This this my little boy. <laughs> this is bad. This was her like dreams, dreams thing. She sent, she kept saying, oh, this is all I want. This is all I want. It was this little three piece set. It's kind of nice. It is very nice. We really wanted, she really wanted the gray though. I really wanted but the gray. But when I looked, the gray was, the gray was sold out. The gray was sold out. And he got all these toys. Thank you, y'all. We appreciate y'all. No, for real. He got his pad. 
Where y'all at? Y'all doing too much. Why am I not in the, in the mix? So this is stuff, more stuff I gotta donate. Cause I'm just going through his stuff. Six months. He's not wearing, oh, ahoy mate. Ahoy mate. Y'all, so me and Mace went ahead and opened up this little seat thing for Kyrie. So this is from like Fisher Price and it has like little things on it. It just helps him sit up. Um, I don't know if he like it so far. It's been like five minutes and I don't know. Eventually, of course, he will, you know, start to uh, reach and stuff like that. Right now he's grabbing like he can hold on to a toy. But as far as reaching, I don't know. But this is real cute. I was on the phone with my sister and she recommended one of these and i was like i have one and she was like girl open this shit right now because he need to be sitting up so yeah she also recommended that i take everything out of these boxes and like open them but i'm gonna be honest y'all i don't think i have enough space let me know what y'all think comment down below if i should just take everything out of its box but like a high chair i don't know if he's at that age yet um just more toy stuff over there and then this is like his playered but it's like i don't have space y'all there's no space so I don't know, y'all let me know what y'all think. But yeah, we just here chilling. I'm waiting on two packages from UPS. Like, what's really good? He looks so uninterested. <laughs> I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on a package from Skims. Cause I don't know, one of y'all, I think it was a subby. She posted on her story a um a discount code for skims i guess they like emailed it to her and she ain't want it girl I bought some shit so fast so i got an order from skims and then i also got an order from um wait a minute so i was like let me try a wait a minute i spent a good coin so we're gonna see the wait a minute that's gonna be a real a try on haul is gonna be it's gonna be a real and then the skims i don't know it's like three things so it's not that serious i don't think i'm gonna um do a haul for that it's literally three things so when it comes i will show y'all what's up you know they keep saying you look like daddy they say you look like daddy Kyrie they say you don't even look like me they say my DNA ain't even try you know that oh you pooping oh yeah you frustrated what's wrong bubbles huh I think he pooping y'all yeah he pooping when them legs start jerking and stuff yeah he pooping Okay, Bubba, so I'll change you. Yeah, he pooping. Okay, okay, okay. Big baby. You hungry? I heard his stomach go, Duh. I'm so old. He's probably hungry. I'm vlogging. Okay, okay. What you want with the, you don't know gotta get fussy. He's probably hungry. Yeah. Okay, baby, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ooh. Oh, farthy butt. You are such a farthy butt. Farthy butt, farthy butt. You are such a farthy butt. Farthy butt, farthy butt. You are such a farthy butt. You love me? Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't love me, guys. Y'all, when I tell y'all, um, I think having Kyrie has made me such an emotional being because... It's like I'm in the room with him and I was reading him um, a Dr. Seuss book. It's called All the Places You'll Go. And it just makes me so emotional. And it makes me so grateful and feel so blessed that I'm able to have a baby and for him to have his own room. Like my job as a mom is to give him everything I didn't have, point blank period. And that starts with this room, like, there's nothing wrong, of course, if you can't afford to give your child a nursery and you're not, it's not going to, like, hinder their development if they don't have a nursery. But being in here and spending the past couple of days, you know, building this room for him has made me so emotional because it's like, it's kind of like healing me in a sense. It's kind of healing. It's, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of healing my inner child like me doing this for him and opening his presence from you guys from the baby registry is such a beautiful feeling like it's so crazy Whew. so crazy bro and then to look at him play with his toys i'm just like sometimes i can get so down and so depressed and have so much self-doubt and be mean and hard to myself 
and I think I'm doing just fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I can be so hard on myself and compare myself to other people and not feel accomplished, but I literally had the means to buy this house and then bam, have I get in a relationship, have a baby, and then I'm able to give my baby, which honestly and truly, you guys got him all this stuff. I didn't get him nothing that's in this room. <laughs> The crib set is from his dad, of course, and then everything else is honestly and truly... What's wrong? It's honestly and truly from you guys, but I mean, like... Come on. But I mean, like, just being... Just, just, just being able to have this because this literally looks like a magazine to me. This is not normal. I've never been to somebody's house growing up. None of my cousins, nothing that had a nursery. Like, this is so beautiful. And it just makes me feel so happy inside to know that I could at least give him that. Your hair looks insane, Kyrie. Um, he lays on his back a lot, you guys. So that's why the back of his head look like this. But I'm trying to look for some products, like some Shea Moisture or something, like a cream. I don't know what y'all put in your baby's hair, but yeah. But his hair is very beautiful. It's just the back. It's just looking kind of crazy because, um, you know, he always laying on his back. But <sighs> coming in here... It just makes me so proud of myself. Like, when I tell y'all I work so hard, like, it's shit that y'all don't even see behind the scenes. Like, I work so fucking hard. I don't have that pretty privilege. Y'all probably like, oh, she got tattoos. She likes she got a baby. No, like, I work hard in my career, everything. Like, I work hard. Every fucking thing I do, y'all, I work so fucking hard. And it really makes me so happy to just see, like, how do I say it? My hard work pay off like it's it's just so beautiful in here it's not perfect i wish i could paint the walls and stuff but i don't think i'll be in this house um starting next year type shit like the beginning of next year i should be i'm not gonna be here for another year basically is what i'm trying to say so i don't want to be adding all this extra shit on the walls and stuff but i just feel so grateful and it's like i'm kind of mad at myself for being for being hard on myself because it's like you're so blessed you know i'm so blessed beyond measure and i literally sit on my phone and compare myself to other people all the time like people that get big opportunities people that like like get promoted fast like in, in, i'm talking like professionally personally i always compare myself to other people and i need to stop doing that and coming in here and seeing it transform into something so beautiful just has me so emotional because I'm so happy for him and I'm grateful for him and I'm really happy that you know he's not gonna have to experience oh no I can't I'll talk to y'all later I don't know that. good morning guys um it's the next day I'm so sorry about yesterday y'all I don't know if it was the mommy cocktail that had me in my feelings or if i don't know having Kyrie just made me just makes me emotional i don't know child um but anyway i got two boy eggs three boy eggs boiling and i'm about to whip up some bacon i'm going back to my boiled eggs because i did have an obsession with boiled eggs during my pregnancy and i just like boiled eggs i don't know i just love them and what i used to do for weight loss is i used to my mom used to force me to eat grapefruits in the morning and I ain't there yet. I'm not on that level of commitment because grapefruits are so disgusting and sour. But I don't know. Eventually, we'll get there later this week. But good morning, y'all. It is Friday. I was procrastinating all week. Bitch, I got to get shit done. I have a lot of content to make. Um, You guys will see. As y'all seen, I got some packages yesterday. I want to do a Instagram reel on the wait a minute outfits I got. And then I got a Fashion Over order coming today. I haven't purchased from Fashion Over in a long time. Hopefully everything goes good because I want to do a haul for that as well. My, probably YouTube. I don't fucking know. But where my little cup at? Like I told y'all, this was ah my hips. This was thirty dollars. Ah, this was thirty dollars. So I'm gonna finish it regardless if I like it or not. So far I haven't really seen a difference. I'm still bloated. Barely still look big. So I mean it ain't working that fucking good. Let me get this motherfucking bacon on the stove, child. With my little boy eggs. Kyrie's sleeping, y'all. I don't want to wake him up. Because, like, this is the shit I be talking about. Let me tell y'all something. I purchased this cookware set. This is called the Kar Karote set. 
supposed to be non-stick, non-tarnishable. I bought it from Walmart.com because it was on sale. Girl, this is like after like two, three weeks. Shit is stained. Like, I need a good cookware set, y'all. Y'all see? I need a good cookware set. I really do like non-stick, but I don't know. If I need to be trying ceramic, let me know. Y'all leave me some good recommendations down below. Because let me tell y'all something. It's getting to the point where like, It's getting to the point where like cooking is so fun to me now. Like it makes no fucking sense. It like it's just so fun because I don't know why. Like the only thing I don't like about cooking, which is why I, I don't fucking do it a lot, is um, it's like the fact that after I make it, I'm not hungry no more. Once I'm hungry, I need to eat ASAP. There's no slaving over a stove because by the time everything done, the food done, you plate the shit all pretty, I'm not hungry. So I don't know if that makes sense. Y'all let me know if y'all go through that too, but. Recently, oh my god, I have been having so much fun. I made what the other day? Like a stir fry. I followed this Chinese guy recipe on YouTube because I don't know about the Chinese food, y'all. And when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all that shit tastes better than, no, nah, okay, it didn't taste better than Chinese food, but it tastes exactly like Chinese food. I said, bro, I'm not buying Chinese food no more. I could just do me a little tutorial. And the meat was a good price. I had got that meat from, I think it's from Walmart, damn, or H-E-B or some shit, I don't remember. But, that shit was a 10 out of 10. I was so nervous, I was like, oh my God, what if I fuck this shit up? When I tell you it was amazing, I'll probably show you the recipe because I have some more left. I got some more meat left. This is all the stir fry meat I got left, y'all. A corner. Y'all really want a frother. Like, I want one of those blendy things that you just zzz and it blends it. Because even with a spoon, this should still be clumpy. And no, I don't expect this to just be weight loss or whatever. And I don't know if I'm going to get back on my crackhead pills. I got to think about that shit. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what was the combo, y'all. When I had got, when I first came to Fort Hood, y'all know I had went to the DR and got a round two. I had got my first BBL fix because I ain't like it. So when I had got my round two, I had got lipo. Y'all know BBL, or whatever. Um, and I immediately, when I got back to the states, found out about the crackhead pills. I gave it in probably about a month, and I got on those crackhead pills. Perfection. But those, I don't really recommend them because they make your mouth jittery. They make you, uh, I mean, they make you jittery. They make you drive weird. Like you're, I drove like a, I couldn't pay attention when I was driving. Like, I don't know. And I see like all these girls are like on Ozempic now. I'm not getting on no fucking Ozempic. A company reached out to me and offered me like a whole th a 90 day supply of Ozempic for me to talk about, um, you know, to collab with them. Bitch, I'm not getting on Ozempic. Cause let me tell you something. Y'all not killing me, child. This shit might be cool now, but. Mm -hmm. I feel like 90 years from now, they're going to have a commercial saying, hey, were you on Ozempic? This is why the fuck I don't like leaving the door open. It'd be fucking... Ugh. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I keep cursing. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It'd be flies all up in there. That's why I'd be like, close the door. Close the door. And people be treating me like I'm, I'm like a dictator in this house. I'm not a dictator. Close the fucking door. I don't like flies. I don't like bugs. I'm doing all this talking. Still ain't put the bacon on the stove. Y'all, I got formula all over the damn camera. So we just left this nail salon. It's called Elegant Nails. It's really nice, y'all. I got my toes done, but I will show y'all my toes. Um, fuck. I'll show y'all my toes when we get to the mall. We're going to the mall because we're going to go look for an outfit for Kyrie for Easter. I have mine coming from Fashion Nova. I'll show y'all that a little bit later. Look who I'm with, y'all. Drea. We going to the mall, so. Let's go. Kyrie's in the back. He doodled, so I gotta change him. Yeah, what y'all think about these? I know y'all don't see the vision. I don't know. Maybe it's motherhood. 
these are so cute y'all these with like some slacks oh my god so pretty i would wear these bitch i'm turning into an old lady i'm dropping shit we in dillard's what kind are we doing we with gang now yeah i'm with the twins say hi Hey, hey, uh, what do you call them? It's subbies. Is there anything y'all want to say to the haters? Because y'all know they watch. I don't talk to them. Period. <laughs> I don't talk to them. Bye. You're watching my YouTube. All right, y'all. So now it is Sunday. Happy Easter to you guys. I was actually been... I was actually... He want to talk to y'all. I was actually been going to tell y'all Happy Easter. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I did go shopping to find him an outfit. I found him a cute outfit and it don't fit. And it was some real... Ex they're not expensive, but it was like two outfits for $50. But I'm so used to like Ross and Burlington, like $10 outfits. But I don't know. Girl, he ain't fitted. So I ended up throwing on something else that was in the closet. That's like a little set. So y'all will see that. But here, I'm just... We're about to get out the car and go... Um, I take these easter pictures this is what i got on i just got this five dollar dress from a uh, fashion over i did a big fashion over order and this dress was on clearance and i was like oh my god like i could find a green little thing in the back girl just know our office don't match but it's okay y'all i'm just here to take pictures for memories um so yeah we're about to go take these photos it's just me and him like i told y'all mace is not here he's at his grandma's funeral well, he's in New York for his grandma's funeral, so he's not here. So I don't want y'all to think I'm taking the pictures look, trying to look like a single mom because that's not what it is. So um, there's that. And then I clicked my subscriber count. And I don't know why I did that because as I clicked it, I was driving and I was listening to gospel music. And I seen the count. Y'all, I am nine subscribers away from 100,000. I had to click off. I said, hey, Siri, play City Girls. Because I could not mess up my makeup. Like, I did my makeup on live. I could not mess up my makeup. I love y'all so much. By the time y'all see this, I'll probably be at 100,000. After this, I'll probably go get the 100K balloons with the little girl. I just feel so blessed. But I don't want to cry because y'all know me. I will start boo crying. So I'm going to get him and we're going to go take these photos. I don't know if they'll let me vlog. I don't know. It's a lot of people in there with their families. What's wrong, Kaika? Okay. All right. See you guys later. I'll show you other pictures and I'll show it to y'all on Instagram. So bye. Hey, guys. It is, I don't know what day. Um, I am about to end the vlog. I just wanted to come and tell you guys thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. If you ain't seen it yet, I posted it on Instagram. I did reach um, 100,000, and I just wanted to come and tell you guys thank you so much. I am going to do, like, the balloons and the um, cake and all that, but it just, I couldn't do it yesterday because yesterday was Easter, and um, let me put y'all down, y'all. Hold on, y'all. So like I was saying, yesterday was Easter, so you know, Party City was closed and stuff, so I'm gonna do the whole balloons and all that stuff in the next vlog. I just wanted to come in and end the vlog and tell y'all thank y'all so much for the continuous support. Like, wow, I cannot believe I hit a honey K. Like, somebody wrote me and they was like, oh, finally, oh my God, finally. Bitch, how much you got? <laughs> y'all like the, <laughs> finally, what, you, what your numbers looking like? What, what was good? Miley was good. Oh, okay. I forgot 200 subscribers talking about some finally girl any who's um yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next vlog i'm on the way to go pick up our photos our easter photos if you guys want to see them because they weren't ready yet that's why i haven't showed it to y'all in the vlog it's on my instagram page and on Kyrie's instagram page so just if y'all want to go check that out um but yeah i'll see you guys make sure i'll see you guys in my next vlog i did my hair as well I look a little I look all right but um yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog i love y'all and Kyrie in the back i think he's sleep but yeah i love you guys and i'll see y'all in my next vlog